Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICC Mathematics Class 8, Chapter 26, Circumference and Area of a Circle Exercise 26, Question Number 7. This is find the perimeter and area of each of the following shapes represented by bold, bold lines, right? So this shape we have, we have to find the perimeter of this thing, right? So very simple thing you can see this is a quadrant of a circle basically a circle but divided into four parts right so you can see one quadrant we have here now we have to find the perimeter means the boundary enclosed this 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 entire line we have to add and then get the total boundary so see first of all if this is 14 then this side will also be 14 centimeters because it is the quadrant of the circle so these two sides are 14 centimeters now perimeter will be equal to what this is the question so first of all we will find the perimeter or uh, sorry not the perimeter we will find the circumference right of the quadrant so this quadrant that we have we will find its circumference and how so 1 by 4 first of all and then rest is 2 pi r okay so 1 by 4 1 by 4 into 2 into pi is 22 by 7 and r is 14 centimeters now solve so what do you get here see um so this will go 4 and 2 will go 1 and 2 22 2 and 11 22 will go 11 times 7 and 14 will go 2 times so you get 22 centimeters here so your perimeter will be equal to first of all 14 plus 14 will be there right two sides and then this entire curved area right this part this circumference we have just now got as 22 centimeters so that also we will add so plus here 22 centimeters that's your 4 4 8 and 2 10 and 1 2 3 1 2 5 50 centimeters now the area we will calculate so the area is pi r square as usual but this is a quadrant so we will do upon 4 so 22 by 7 into r square so radius is 14 so 14 into 14 into your 1 by 4 or 4 divide by 4 you can say or into 1 by 4 now you can cancel this and this this will go 2 times by 7 right we will cancel this and let's cancel this 14 so this will go 2 this will go 7 times now this 2 and 2 cancelled so 7 into 2 14 and 1 7 into 2 14 and 1 154 square centimeters that is the area let's move on to the next part now now see the next one here we have got another figure now we'll calculate first the perimeter right so what will this perimeter be see one is this 14 centimeter side that that will come here and the other side is this 21 centimeters what else will come in this the uh, boundary of these two circumferences uh, these semicircles so circumference of these two semicircles will also be added now how we will calculate that see first of all the circumference of the semicircle is equal to so you can use here 2 r upon 2 or you can do what you can uh, do this with the same way that is your pi d by 2 both the ways are fine both things you can do here you can see we have diameter and diameter so i will be doing the one with the diameter that is pi d by 2 so see 22 by 7 into diameter first of this circle if this is 21 then this is also 21 if this is 14 then this is also 14 centimeters now see 22 okay uh, this 22 by 7 into now this 21 so this will become into diameter and now semicircle this is so into 1 by 2 plus now see the next circle so this one is 14 centimeters so 22 by 7 into 14 okay and into 1 by 2 now solve this and see what do you get this we will cancel 11 times this I'll cancel um, let, let's cancel this one again 11 times right so now solve we'll have what see 14 plus 21 
now 721 we will cancel 1 and 3 so 11 into 3 33 right i think else is left here so 33 and plus here 714 will cancel so 11 into 2 22 that's what 4 5 8 10 0 1 2 4 7 and 2 90 centimeters is the perimeter now see the area so area area now in this area again we have to calculate the area of the rectangle as well as the area of the two semicircles why because you can see area will not include uh, area will also include what this part as well right in perimeter what we were doing we were ignoring this boundary right of this rectangle but this will also come into use because that will also form the area only so first of all the area of the rectangle 14 into 21 right that is what that is the area of this rectangle then in this we will plus what now what is the area of a semicircle pi r square upon 2 so in this case we need the radius we cannot do anything with the diameter so see first of all we have got here pi r square upon 2 and then again plus pi r square upon 2 now put the values here so 14 into 21 either i should just multiply this right here itself so see 14 ones are 14 and 1 294 here plus now pi is 22 by 7 into r square r square now you can take any of these semicircles first let's go with this one it has 14 centimeter diameter so radius will become 7 and into 1 by 2 and then plus again 22 by 7 why am i doing into 1 by 2 because it's upon 2 so either you can write this as upon 2 or you can write into 1 by 2 both are fine again plus pi 22 by 7 into now come to the next semicircle this one where my diameter is of 21 centimeters so if the diameter is of 21 centimeters then what will be the length of the uh, radius that's going to be 10.5 because half of 21 that is what 10.5 so into 10.5 into 10.5 and again semicircle it is so into 1 by 2 right now you can solve all of these things let me cancel them one by one this 7 and this 7 cancelled this 2 and 22 cancelled sorry 11 times 7 and 105 also cancelled 1.5 times right so let's see what am i left with 11 and 1.5 cannot be cancelled right okay so come here 294 plus now 11 into 7 rest everything is cancelled so 77 plus come to the last semicircle where i have 11 into 1.5 into 10.5 so let's quickly multiply and check so 11 and 1.5 15 and 5 here 16.5 now 16.5 into 11 again right uh, sorry 11 uh, sorry into 10.5 so we have 10.5 here 5 to carry it over 32 and 3 8 and then 0 and then again this 5 6 1 5 2 13 and 1 7 so we have what see two decimal po uh, places uh, are there so decimal point after two decimal places so plus 173.2 5 now solve so 0.25 will be there now 4 7 that is 11 and 3 that is 14 and 1 10 and 7 17 and 7 that is 24 and 2 so 444.25 square centimeters that's your answer next part this is seventh and this is third part we have got here first of all we will calculate the perimeter of this thing right so the perimeter of the figure will be first this is 16 so this will also be 16 centimeters so 16 plus 16 plus now 28 centimeters over here that means what this circle semicircle area is not there but actually this semicircle has been replaced with this one over here which is with the same thing so the circumference of a semicircle is 
pi into your 28 right that is what it is pi d so we are calculating this part here okay and this part here as well that's why i'm not dividing this pi 2 okay so 7 28 cancel 16 and 16 is 32 and here 88 so 32 plus 88 is 120 centimeters and that is your perimeter okay now the area now see here for the area what we will do this part has been cut off but this has been added over here this part so that means the rectangle will still be there right so area will be area of the rectangle only nothing will change no area of any semicircle or circle or whatever so 16 into 28 because this is one side this is another side 16 into 28 is 448 square centimeters and that's your answer and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye